Bowling Green is on a quest to bounce back after 150 mile per hour winds rip through parts of Warren County. New Channel 5's Hannah McDonald shows us how people are coming together to help. Survivors of this very strong storm are finding themselves at a standstill, some without a car, some without a home. But in Bowling Green, they have a lot of help. That place is almost spotless compared to how it was when we got here. On the second day of a cleanup that will take days on end, the help in Bowling Green is beginning to make a dent. Like, no matter how much we lift, like there's still so much to do. Josh Thompson and friends from Western Kentucky University cleared lawns on Spring Creek Avenue on their canceled commencement weekend. Like I haven't even thought about graduation all day just because like people have bigger problems than us walking across the stage. Looking at the tornado damage could make your head spin. Some homes are sliced in half. Are you Do you want some water? But how this community is choosing to respond Thank you. shows their strength. It's crazy. Michelle Lane was one of roughly 100 at an emergency blood drive. If you can give money, give money. If you can give blood, give blood. If you can pray, pray. Katherine Kaufman donated because she loves her hometown. A lot of the parts of Bowling Green that make it special are now gone. So it's just, it's extremely sad to see all the devastation that's happened. The EF3 Twister killed at least 12 in the county. Mike McFadden has never seen damage this continuous. Well, I learned today um, that I'm never gonna take life for granted again. It will take several seasons to rebuild. This area will need help.